Hey guys, this is Stacy from eatthebite.com, and today I'm making a cashew chicken stir fry, and it's delicious. Let me show you how to make it. First, we'll put our cashews in a small pan and heat them on low for five minutes or so to toast them a bit. Next, the celery. I'll cut each stalk into three thin strips, and then I'll dice it down into smaller bits like you see here. I'm going to cut one red pepper around the core, and then I do like to take a moment to cut those little white strips out of the center. Then I'm going to cut the pepper into thick strips and then into smaller pieces, about a half an inch each. They should look about like this. I went to check my cashews and they are now ready. So I'm going to set those aside while I finish my other prep work. You'll need one onion for this. Just cut it in half, make two cuts like this, then cut across to make diced chunks like you see here. We'll do the same thing with the other half of the onion. Then we're going to set all of the onions aside in a bowl, and then we're going to move on to our garlic. We need to finely dice some garlic, so I'll start by slicing my garlic thin, and then dicing it down into finer bits from there. Next, we need to grate some ginger on a microplane, and when you're done with that, just set it aside. Now it's time to chop some scallions, and I'm going to use the white and the green part for this. For the sauce, I want you to see the bottles I'm using. I've got Indonesian soy sauce, which is sweet and thick. I've got a spicy garlic chili sauce, oyster sauce, and dark soy sauce. I'm going to start by putting some of that Indonesian soy sauce in a bowl, followed by the spicy garlic chili sauce, the oyster sauce, and the dark soy. If you only have regular soy sauce, that's fine too. Then just give everything a good mix until it's well combined. It should look about like this when you're done. I've got some boneless chicken thighs for this, and I do like to take a few moments to trim that fat from around the edges. After that, I basically take each thigh, cut it into three or four pieces, then into bite-sized chunks from there. Just try to make sure all of your pieces are uniform. Next, we'll season the chicken with some salt and some pepper. You'll need two pans for this with oil in both. I'll add the chicken to one pan and spread out the pieces. And in the other, I'm going to start by cooking the celery by itself for about two to three minutes. We're going to give it a good stir around the pan. Then we're going to add those onions and the red pepper. Give everything a good mix, and we'll let that cook a few minutes on its own. And in the meantime, the chicken is ready to be turned. I'll give it a toss with my spatula, and then just grab your kitchen tongs if you need to turn over any pieces individually. Give the veggies a stir, and now it's time to add the garlic and ginger to the chicken pan. And we do need a dash more oil here. Then we're going to let that garlic and ginger cook a couple of minutes until it gets fragrant. Then we're going to mix that together with the chicken. Make sure this is well mixed. Now it's time to add those veggies into the chicken pan. Give everything a good mix. Then we're going to add the cashews in. Give those a mix. And now it's time for that awesome sweet and spicy sauce. We'll mix everything together well to coat all the ingredients in the sauce. And let's have a closer look at this delicious cashew chicken stir fry. And now it's time to eat the bite. I made some basmati rice spooned on some of my cashew chicken and I put together the perfect first bite. Have I mentioned I love cashew and chicken together? There are so many variations on cashew chicken, but I will say this is one of my favorite versions. It's really delicious and I hope you give this one a try. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, you'll find this and all the printable recipes over on my website at eatthebite.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.